coming to another dynamic programming question which is largest common subsequence which we are going to solve with the help of top down approach so first of all understand the question here a string is given a b c a b and another string is given a e c b what we have to do is we have to find the largest common subsequence or say its length what is the largest common subsequence over here a a c b and a c b common subsequence means a subsequence which is present in both of the string which is a c b and a c b you can change the order that means you can do like that a c e b you can do like that you have to maintain the order so the largest common subsequence over here is a c b and a c b which is present in both so what is the approach we will going to use recursion over here with the help of dynamic programming so for dynamic programming we are going to use a matrix so let's first understand the basic approach that we're going to take what we will do is we will take the last character of both the string and we will check that whether those characters are equal or not if those are equal then we will break the problem into a different part which is a b c a and a e c b and plus one so the further sub part of the problem will be a b c a, a b c a and a e c b so we will we will look for the largest subsequence between let me type over here a b c a and the bottom one is a e c if last character are same then we will break the problem into this we will call the same method with this strings so the largest common subsequence between these two string plus one will give us the answer so that will be the approach and over here the base case will be that if and if any of the strings length is zero that means there is no common subsequence available then we will return the zero so how are we going to use the matrix over here before that if both the characters are not equal what we are going to do is we will going to break the problem into two sub parts first of all we will remove the character from here so like this a b c a and a e c b suppose the last character are not same let me change that if it's v then we will remove the last character from the upper one and the lower one will be same we will call the same method and another sub problem will be a b c a v and a e c v a e c and we will remove the last character from the second so we will break the problem into two sub part and the maximum subsequence returning from both of the problems will be returned again and that will be then added and calculated accordingly so let's understand how we're going to use the dynamic programming concept in this program so we will going to use a dy dynamic programming dynamic program we will going to use a matrix which is db matrix so let me show you how this db matrix will help we will going to store the maximum subsequence between two different strings suppose the ac is uh, suppose consider a string ac and ab so what will be the largest common subsequence length between ac and ab this will be stored over here which is one suppose acb and abc the largest common subsequence length will be two so c a b and ab so the length is two over here like that we will feel the array and we will not calculate if the problem is coming again so the so if the problem is coming twice or the problem is repeated we will check the dp array if the problem if the problem solution or the number is available over there then we will just return from there okay so let's start with the problem so here first of all we are taking the strings which is s and p and after that sl will store the length of the first string and pl will store the length of the another string and you have to keep in mind that the matrix that we are creating is of length sl plus one that means the first string length plus one and the another string length plus one so we are creating the dp array like that and the zero is filled over here that means the string over here's length is zero and string over here length is zero so that's why the all the values are filled with zero and in java the numbers the the initial values of a array is zero so don't we don't have to fill it with any number and what we will do is we will fill the dp array from one to the end from one to the end with minus one okay so uh, we are leaving the zeroth zeroth index of both the one if i's value is zero or if j's value is zero then we will leave the dp array to zero as the as the uh, as the matrix in the java is initialized with zero value so we will leave like uh, leave it like that and we will fill the rest of the position with minus one so let's check over here and uh, like this we will fill the rest of the position with minus one and we will change the value when we, when we will get the problem suppose we are encountering ac and ab ac and ab strings are coming then we will fill this position with the maximum subsequence which is one over here so we will proceed like this and after that system dot out dot print ln subsequence as dot length p dot length and uh, sp d p so we can remove this as dot length to sl and p dot length to pl so what we are providing we are providing the length of the first string length of the second string and the first string and second string and the dp array dp matrix the first is the best case if m is equals to equals to zero or n is equals to equals to zero that means that if any of the strings length is zero then return zero that means there is no safe subsequence available over there and after that we are checking for the value if dp m end is not is equals to minus one that means we are checking that if the problem is calculated before and its value is changed from minus one that means that the maximum subsequence between those, uh, those two strings is available so we will return from here and after that we are checking that if as dot caret m minus one what this means we are checking for the last character which is over here a b c a v so re let's remove this and uh, make this to b so we are checking both of the last character if they are same 
here both of the characters are same so we will enter this condition and we will feel the dpmn dpmn value to one plus and subsequence value which is calculated by calling this method again so wh what we are doing over here we are removing the last character of both the string by doing m minus one and n minus one so we are checking we are expecting that thus the further problem a b c a a b c a and a e c will return a value and we will add one to that and that will be our value and which will be stored in our db matrix where to the position m and n m and n will be the position here for the last one so here the value will be stored and we will returning the dp matrix dp matrix value and else else as i told you that if this values are not same suppose b is present over here and v is present over here then we will divide the problem into two sub part which is uh, m minus one that that means we are removing the v from the first string and uh, we are making uh, we are taking p as it is and calling the subsequence uh, subsequence recursion method which will return a maxi uh, which will return a subsequence value subsequence length value and we are doing same by removing the last from the second string and this will return another value and we are taking the maximum of that so maximum subsequence returning from both of the string and we are returning that value so this is how uh, the all procedure will calculate and let's check us uh, let's check the value uh, what what this problem is giving us uh, so let's check what this problem is returning us so here two is coming as we as i removed the last b from here so let's make it b again and again if i run this three is returning so this is how you can solve the linear subsequence problem so this is for today see you in the next video till then goodbye